AM Sports Report brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress. Uh, I mean, now's the perfect time to go check them out. The, that other store is closing, and they're they're the only horse in town now. Um, but that doesn't even matter because uh, Northwest Furniture and Mattress, their their selection, just uh, their customer service is top notch. Go check them out. Big red rocking chair on Elm off Adams and Legrand. Um, Andrew Paisley signed his uh, undrafted free agent rookie contract with the New York Jets. That's awesome. So that, I mean, that's, yeah, it's so awesome. A lot of hard work goes into that. And, um, I mean, so what, what this means is he'll get invited to uh, training camp and he'll get to play in some preseason games. I mean, they're going to look at him. He's part of the 90-man roster that, you know, going in. Now, they're going to cut that roster in half, basically, by the time the season starts. So this doesn't mean that you're going to see him on the sidelines per se, but you could. And, right. and, and he signed an NFL contract, which is absolutely awesome. Um, congratulations to Andrew. LHS softball ran their record to 17-1 and on the season with a 9-0 victory over Mack High here in LeGrand yesterday. This, this softball team's good. They go to Pendleton on Friday, and they play their last two GOL games of the year, and Pendleton's the only team that's beat them. They're 1-1 one one this year against Pendleton, and those games on Friday at 2-4 and four will decide the GOL softball-wise. The baseball team swept Ontario on Wednesday 13-3 and 8-3, right? They're 7-1 in the GOL. They haven't played Pendleton yet. Those Pendleton games got postponed, so they're going to play Pendleton today, I believe. No, tomorrow, two and four here, and then they'll turn around and play Pendleton on Friday, two and four over there. And basically, those four games decide the GOL for baseball. So it's a big week for LHS baseball and softball, and we'll we'll know on Friday who wins the GOL this year. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you know we aren't going to make the playoffs, or we are. We could we could still possibly get in, and I'm thinking both teams will probably get in. Um, it's just a matter of winning the league or not. EOU track and field will be at the conference meet this weekend in Klamath Falls, Friday and Saturday. Man, um, I'm excited to, to see what this team does. I mean, I think they're ranked, the men are ranked 11th in the country. Women are, you know, top 20, right around 20. And, and the, it's just been a pretty solid year for the distance runners, the throwers. You got uh, Justin Ash, uh, Hunter Nichols, um, uh, Woodward, Kenna Woodward having a great year. Uh, Tanner Nets having a great year throwing the shot put. It's going to be exciting. And so that's this weekend, Thursday and Friday. EOU softball. What an awesome story. The, the first time since 2016 EOU softball is the conference tournament champions. And so basically this season they they should have won the regular season. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. They 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 crapped the bed the last weekend of the year. They needed to beat uh Southern 3 out of 4 and they only beat them twice and only once uh was a league game cuz like I've told you before the the way the CCC works is the first 3 games of the weekend count towards the the league record and then the last one doesn't it just counts overall and EOU lost two of those three ended up basically losing the regular season uh championship on the last day of the season but then they turned around they came into this tournament and they would have got to host this tournament if they would have won but they go on the road to Klamath Falls and they just handled business they didn't lose one time it was a double elimination tournament they ended up beating uh Southern in the championship game yesterday, five to four, and those games were pushed today because of weather. It was snowing on May 5th in Klamath Falls. Wow, you know what I mean? That's how crazy our weather's been. But uh, yeah, EOU softball, its it's been absolutely awesome. They're, in my eyes, they are hands down the best team in the toughest conference in the country. And and I'll keep saying that. Um, they're, they're, I talked about on Friday the, the whole all-conference thing, and, and I'm going to say it again. I don't, and, and I don't go out there and say this kind of thing often, and I, and I actually thought about it a lot this weekend. 
Haley Tyree is an all-conference player. She showed it again this weekend. She broke the school record for stolen bases, led the conference in stolen bases, hit 328, and didn't even get honorable mention. And that's just, uh, I mean, it's a travesty in my eyes. I, I, I don't even see how it happens. And then EOU Baseball, they finished their season. All-conference came out. Joey Friedas got gold glove. He should have been all-conference as well, and, and I'll tell you that right now. This kid is an all-conference player. He's the only one on EOU, in my eyes, that should have got all-conference. Nobody did, and, and I, I mean, it's, it's just weird. I, I feel like maybe this, you know, the west side in NAIA, the west, western United States, kind of get overlooked, and... and with the way our softball team is playing and our volleyball team, you know, everything that's been going on, hopefully that's opening some people's eyes. The selection show for softball is today at 2 o'clock. Uh, NAIA on YouTube, you can watch it right there, and we'll see where EOU is going to end up. They're going to they're gonna be a uh, – they're, they're probably – Gonna get a really good first round game. I'm I'm assuming they're tenth in the country right now. They win the CCC conference. I'm gonna assume that they're gonna get a a, a very nice first round game, mm -hmm. and hopefully they'll make it to the final site. I mean that's the goal. You know, some well the goal is to win a national championship, but the final site is what they really are striving for right now. Schedule for the week. All we got at EOU this week is. CCC championships, that's it. We're already past the, the uh, championships for softball. So that graphic there brought to you by EOU Athletics. Morning Sports Report brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress. Big red rocking chair on Elm off Adams and Legrand.